Hello, welcome to Spotlight on the Word. Today our topic is confidence in adversity. Confidence in adversity. Adversity is a difficult situation or condition. And by application of the word adversity, I am looking at the hardships people are going through in this country. My aim here is not to blame any person or government, but to help all of us find confidence from the word of God in the face of present adversity. Amen. One man asserts that it is not really the problem that is the issue, but rather how we deal with it. It is not really the problem that is the issue, but rather how we deal with it. Let us first of all establish the fact that the Bible teaches that there are troubled times and that is why it is said and call upon me in the day of trouble I will deliver you and you shall glorify me Psalm 15 verse Psalm 50 verse 15 Somewhere in the New Testament Paul said for I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory to be revealed to us Romans 8 verse 18 there is a time to weep and a time to laugh there is a time to mourn and a time to dance it is only the wicked who has said in his heart I will never be in adversity Psalm 10 verse 6 so it is unfortunate that some people teach that a Christian must not face adversity. That is not biblical teaching. And does it mean that I like adversity? Never. No one likes to suffer or be in difficult or troubled times. But it is the reality of life under this sun. If we understand it this way, we can know how to deal with difficult times. Now, am I the one saying times are difficult? Or am I the only one feeling the difficulties of this time? I don't think so. But let me help you appreciate the problem. Anytime I turn to the news from radio stations, I hear of the degrees of suffering of many people in this country. People have completed school so many years and do not have permanent employment to provide them with basic needs. Some people have attended interviews upon interviews and yet they do not or they've not gotten jobs. Past censuses, including the recent one, highlighted the level of poverty in many of our communities. People cannot even afford three square meals a day. I know difficult times have been with humanity since the ancient times, but it becomes worse when you go through natural disasters like COVID-19 pandemic. Both parents and children are feeling the heat. Even NSS personnel are crying for increments in their allowances and they are right because the times are so hard. Is it the floods in the northern regions in the beginning of the year? Is it the recent tidal waves in the Volta region making people lose their properties? Is it the job losses during and post COVID-19? Is it the accidents and crimes in certain parts of the country? All these make the situation a dire one. I nearly wept when I met a man with his junior brother buying banku with their only two cities without meat or fish. It is like no day passes without hearing about the sufferings people are going through. Perhaps you find yourself in one of these troubles. Maybe some of the things I just narrated are the issues you are surrounded with. What do you do? What do you do in situations like these? Finding confidence in adversity. Do you turn to some movies, comedy shows, or games for happiness? I'm afraid that may not be a lasting solution. Do you turn to some motivational speeches or speakers? 
That may help for a little while, but it is not good enough a solution. What do you do in troubled times as this? Do you turn to people, friends and colleagues and tell them all about your problems? Yes, whereas it is advisable for us to share our problems with good people who can help us, it may not be the best situation or solution, sorry. It is good, but not the best solution, especially when that person is also dealing with his or her problems. Let me suggest to you that the best solution is to turn to the word of God, where God has given us promises of deliverance. Though the entire entirety of God's word is true and profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, I would like to direct you to the wisdom books of the Bible, especially the book of Psalms, where actual people like David had problems as bad as any today. Some even had bigger problems. You remember Job, also in the wisdom books. If David faced problems as bad as ours today, then how was he able to have that confidence and trust? To the point he even said, I lay down and slept. Psalm 3 verse 5. And also in Psalm 4 verse 8 he said, I will both lie down in peace and sleep. I believe it is because David has given all his problems to God. And that is the import of today's message. Confidence in adversity. How to find confidence in adversity. From the two Psalms of David, we can learn a lot. Let us read Psalm 3 and 4. Psalm 3. Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cry to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. Amen. Psalm 4 Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have relieved me in my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long, O you sons of men, will you turn my glory to shame? How long will you love wetlessness and seek falsehood? But know that the Lord has set apart for himself him who is godly. The Lord will hear when I call to him. Be angry, do not sin. Meditate within your heart on your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than in the season that their grain and wine increased. I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. From the Psalms, we see the expression of anxiety. But on a reflection upon the goodness of God in the past, the result is confidence, which further results in peace and contentment. Amen. When you are in trouble now, Think of the goodness of God in the past. I believe this is not the first time you are facing problems or troubled times. You have been in some troubles in the past. Maybe bigger ones or smaller ones than this one you are in currently. David said, I lay down and slept. I awoke for the Lord sustained me. I believe it was God who helped you in the past. And it is he who would help you to now. So David says, put your trust in the Lord. 
Psalm 4 verse 5. So reflecting on his goodness in the past gives you present confidence, peace, and contentment. It will help us develop the same level of trust and confidence in God like David. In the two Psalms, God provided deliverance, assurance in prayer, favor, joy, peace, and safety. And that is what he has promised you. But let me ask, what makes you think that he will not hear you now or he will not help you like he did in the past? Is it because of some sins you are in? If yes, then you need to repent. For the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Psalm 34 verse 16. David, when he was in sin, acknowledged his sins, took steps to repent and confess his sins. So likewise, we all need to repent of our sins, regardless of the problems facing us. What makes you think that he will not hear you now or he will not help you like he did in the past? Is it because this particular problem is too big? Maybe too big for you, but not for God. All other problems and this one is a simple matter in the sight of God or in the sight of the Lord. 2 Kings 3 verse 18. Remember these verses. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Psalm 9 verse 9. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm 46 verse 1. Whatever problem you are in, remember the words of this hymn. Let not your heart be troubled. His tender word I hear. And resting on his goodness, I lose my doubts and fears. Though by the path he leadeth, but one step I may see. His eyes is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I am happy. I sing because I am free. For his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Though we are all going through adversity or hardships, but your situation is worse off if you have not given your life to Christ through baptism. Because of the future distraction that awaits all sinners, repent and be baptized into the body of Christ, the Church of Christ. If you are also baptized and still walk in sin, your situation is dreadful. Repent and confess your sins, and He is faithful to forgive you. To find confidence in adversity, reflect and rest on His goodness in the past. God bless you for listening. Bye-bye.